five o'clock somewhere. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome to Off the 10th. My name is Chris and today we're going to take a look at a beer from a brewery that uh, I should have probably done earlier since I've been doing moo quickies and moos all my career here on YouTube. I don't think I've ever done a beer from this company which moo comes natural I guess. Today we're taking a look at from Cowbell Brewing. Uh, we're going to take a look at Hazy Days. Uh, the light is coming in. There it is. Hazy Days. Um, this one is classified as a hazy, juicy IPA. Now, when, just from experience, when a brewery has to put that on the can and kind of feed that into your psyche, a lot of times it's not really as hazy and juicy as someone such as myself wants it to be. So we're going to take a look at this beer right here. So, like I said, Cowbell Brewing is where this beer is from. Uh, these guys are located... I can't remember where they are. Uh, these guys are in Blythe, Ontario. Uh, this beer is coming in at 473 milliliters in a can. Uh, ABV is 6.0%. Uh, and the IBUs on this one are 35 IBUs. I want to try this one. I want to do a moo from Cowbell. That's right. Um, I had to do a little bit of a rearrangement here of the... Um, the little setup I got going on. This is also going to change soon enough. I'm going to be probably doing some sit down reviews eventually just to change it up. Uh, I did it this way because every time I'm filming, I'm stepping on a loose tile down here when the camera was over just a little bit and I'm just like, yeah, this is, this is just getting into a distraction. And speaking of distractions, let's get past this. Here we go. So hazy, juicy IPA. Let's take a look. All right. So it's, it's, so far so good it is hazy it's not as hazy as i thought it was going to be but it is hazy because they told me it was going to be and it is and i'm glad that at least one out of the little bit is going the way it's supposed to all right so it is hazy it's yellow it's actually a nice nice bright yellow on this one and it's actually you can see it now now that i've repositioned the light uh head on this one is uh big soapy bubbles on it uh it poured off with about a finger and a half it's not slowly dissipating and i gotta be careful of my tattoo there it's got a little bit of chip in it so let's take a smell from cowbell okay all right this isn't bad actually for odor for odor for the scent <laughs> uh when was this brewed yeah it's lcbo aged but it's actually Smelling better than I thought for the age of this beer, actually. I should have freaking looked at it before I bought it, but it was the only one in there. So I was like, oh, I'll just grab it anyway. All right, smell on this one. You're getting that tropical notes on this one. You are getting the typical New England style uh, IPA kind of scent on this one. You're getting the tropical notes. Lots of pineapple, a little bit of a dank smell on this one too, which is pretty good. But there's absolutely no way this is too green because of the can date on this one. Uh, I think it was... Was this September now? This was brewed in uh, July, so eh, we're over two months on this one, which is not bad. I mean, it's still probably drinkable, so yeah. Anyway, let's drink it. Cheers, guys. Let's have this beer. Yeah, five o'clock somewhere, one thirty in the afternoon right now for me. Okay. Let's talk about the mouthfeel on this one. It's thin. It's 6%. It's thinner than I would like it to be. I kind of would hope that because of this being such a hazy beer, that it would have a bigger body on it. Maybe maybe if they threw some oats in there. I don't know if there is any or not, but it it's thin. And it's it's thinner than I, I was hoping it would be, but whatever. It is what it is. 6% uh, alcohol. You can't tell. It's one of these beers that just 6% is the norm now, I guess. All right, let's talk about the taste. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not as juicy as I got on the scent. Uh, it's a hazy, juicy IPA. Hazy, yes. Juicy, and eh, not so much. But it's still good. I mean, it's drinkable. It's crush. You can crush this beer down, no problem. But there, uh, when it comes down to flavor, it's very mute. Mutant flavors. 
you got a little bit of a pineapple flavor, a little bit of a mango, kind of a, and a few more stone fruits on it. And I'm picking up a little bit of a citrus kind of taste on this one. But like I said, everything's dialed back. It's very muted. And you know what? It's not bad. I mean, to be honest with you, this is, you know, somebody passed me this beer at a party or whatever. And I wouldn't pass it up. I would totally drink this. But would I go out and buy it again? Probably not. It's one and done for me on this beer from Cowbell, the Hazy Days. This one is, I'm looking at the uh, the can here. It says it's triple hopped, but I don't know. You'd think with, when it's triple hopped, you get a little bit more flavor on it, but I don't know. It's just me. Well, anyway, guys, in my own opinion, this beer from Cowbell is not bad. I mean, like I said, I, will, I won't go out and buy this one again, but you know what? You guys should check this out. It's very dialed back. It's very easy to drink, but for a hazy, juicy IPA that they claim to be on the can, kind of was expecting a little bit more. Anyway, I'm done with my own opinion on this one, guys. If you like the video, click the like button, share it, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You know what happens if I hit a thousand subs. I don't know if I have to keep telling you guys this, but I will drink this on camera live and probably die. Anyway, I'm out of here, guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.